now let's see about super keyword in java mainly there are three advantages with super keyword the first advantage is to access super class variable second advantage to access super class method third advantage to access super class constructor so super keyword allows us to access a super class variable super class method as well as super class constructor so here we have three programs the first program demonstrate how we can access super class variable the second program demonstrate how we can access super class method the third program demonstrate how we can access super class constructor let's see the first one so what is the first one accessing super class variable let base class and uh, derived class contains same variable let super class and subclass contains same variable then how we can access super class variable from this subclass for that purpose we use as super keyboard so if base class and derived class contains a same variable in that occasion if we want to access super class variable from the subclass we can use as super keyboard let's see this example so we have base class uh, base class contains a variable called a so int a is equal to 10 next we have derived class uh, derived class is extending from the base class here we can use as super keyword only while implementing inheritance if there is no inheritance then there is no subclass uh, so it is not possible to use this super keyword so class derived extends what is the base class name base next int a is equal to 20 so here we have a variable called a in both base and derived classes next we have a method called display method system dot out dot println a is plus a so if we use simply a then this subclass value will be printed the value which is declared in the corresponding class will be displayed so what is the value in the subclass 20 so the so here the output is a is 20 will be printed system dot out dot print ln super class a is plus super dot a so this is the statement here with the help of the super keyboard we can access super class variable so what is the super class for the derived class base class so in base class what is a value 10 so that 10 will be printed so what is the output now super class a is 10 will be printed and next this is the main program main method so main method is present in a class called test so class test next to public static void main string ox uh, while implementing inheritance we always create object for the derived class so derived obj is equal to new derived so an object is created so whenever an object is created then memory will be allocated to the members of the derived class so we have a so for a four bytes of memory will be allocated next obj dot display uh, so the control goes to the display method so what is the output now a is so in this uh, subclass what is a value 20 so 20 will be printed next to super class a is plus so what is the uh, derived class super class base so in base class what is a value 10 so that 10 will be printed now let's see the second example this example demonstrates how we can access super class method from this subclass let us assume that we have a method which is present in both base class and derived class so same method is present in both base class and derived class in that occasion in order to access super class method from this subclass we use as super keyboard let's see this example here also we have two classes base class derived class and this is nothing but main method class so base class base class contains a method called show method so void show system dot out dot print and base class next this is nothing but derived class so class derived extends base so we are creating derived class by inheriting from the base class next we have two methods first method void show system dot out dot print and derived class here show method is present in both base class as well as derived class so here we have a method one more method 
that is display method display method is present only in the derived class okay so void display show so if we access this show method then which show method will be called the method which is defined in derived class in subclass will be called so this method will be called so what is the body here derived class so that message will be printed next if we want to access super class show method then we have to use a keyword called super so super dot show so here what is the subclass derived for derived class what is the super class base so the control goes to the base class in base class the show method will be called so what is the body here base class so this message will be printed next this is nothing but uh, main class so name of the main class is test and here we have a main method public static void main string aux we know that execution of a program starts from the main method we always create object for the derived class so derived obj is equal to new derived so whenever object is created then memory will be allocated to the members of the class but derived class doesn't contains any instance variables so no memory allocation is there next obj dot display so control goes to the display method show so whenever we call show method like this then the show method which is defined in the corresponding class will be called so here we have a show method so that uh, body will be executed derived class will be printed next the super dot show so whenever the statement is executed then the super class show method will be called for the derived class the super class is base so in base class this is the show method so this method will be called now let's see the next advantage the next advantage of the super keyword is uh, super keyword allows us to call super class constructor if we want we can also pass some arguments to the super class constructor so let's see this program and let's see the main method so class test public static void main string aux we know that execution of a program starts from the main method here we have only one statement here we didn't have any method in the derived class uh, we have created an object for the derived class so derived obj is equal to new derived so whenever an object is created then memory will be allocated to the member variables of the class but derived class doesn't contains uh, any member variables next whenever an object is created then if there is a constructor then the corresponding constructor will also be called here in derived class we have a constructor this is default constructor this constructor doesn't contains any arguments in default constructor we are using a statement called super of 100 so whenever we use a statement like this super then the corresponding super class constructor will be called corresponding super class constructor will be called and this 100 will be passed to the integer value so this is the direct this is the subclass so for this subclass the super class is base the super class is base so what is the subclass name derived extends base so control goes to the base class so control goes to the super class constructor so this is the super class constructor so what is uh, here what is the value we are passing 100 so 100 will be passed to i so this body will be executed system dot out dot print again super class constructor value is what is the value 100 will be passed that 100 will be printed okay next after that the control comes to the next statement system dot out dot print again derived class constructor this statement will be executed let us assume that this is also a default constructor let us assume that this is also a default constructor then there is no need to pass any parameter here super left parenthesis right parenthesis ends with semicolon so whenever this statement is executed then the super class constructor will be called so for derived class what is the super class base class so the base class constructor so it will be called okay so if you want to call the super class constructor from the subclass then we must write this statement as the first statement of the subclass constructor so super left parenthesis right parenthesis ends with semicolon this is nothing but super class constructor call we have to write this statement as the first statement of the subclass constructor okay and after that control comes to the main program here there is no statement after the after the statement okay so this is about uh, super class super keyword in java so we can apply super keyword on a variable 
on a method or a constructor. So with the help of super keyword, we can access all those things.